Election observers are mounting pressure on the Independent National Electoral Commission to improve on the conduct of the presidential and national assembly elections. The groups in Port Harcourt are specifically demanding an overhaul of the technology that INEC deployed for the polls to ensure credibility of the exercise. Senior reporter Uchi Okoro has details. Voters will be watching closely for improvement in the performance of INEC's biometric voter accreditation system when they return to their polling units on the 18th of March. Though some people believe it helped reduce electoral fraud, what might be the most important sign of progress is the effective use of INEX result viewing portal. With few days left before the crucial polls, there is just as much anxiety as there is optimism amongst stakeholders. Right now, nobody even knows the status of beavers because, because before now, we thought that with beavers, you cannot manipulate. Now, we are hearing they need to reconfigure. You know, so I really think that INEC, we, and I'm calling on INEC really to come out and tell Nigerians what exactly is the situation. Is the beavers working? What is the status? IREV was the challenge, and, and that's why to you tomorrow, uh, Yaga Africa is still insisting that an audit and an investigation should be conducted, you know, in INEC so that those who we are responsible for the failure of IREV, you know, to have functioned on election day should actually be uh, identified and then they should actually uh, uh, go in for it because that was a national embarrassment. Observers also expect the electoral umpire to review the number of beavers machines to be used for the governorship and state assembly elections in River State. We need to uh, also know the status of our uh, preparation. Uh, and if, if indeed there are still uh, beavers machines that are missing, I think the, it behooves on uh, INEC in uh, the state to be able to tell reverse people uh, you know, the true figure and then of course the steps that they are taking uh, to be able to uh, recover some of those beavers because the beavers is an integral part of uh, this particular uh, electionary uh, circle you know, uh, and we want to be able to know if indeed they have sufficient uh, beavers machines that will be able to uh, serve all the uh, 6,866 pulling units that we have in the state. According to INEC, 7,295 beavers machines were deployed for the presidential and national assembly elections in River State. Will the same figure be used for the March 18th polls? What's the status of these devices as well as the IREF portal? These and many more are some of the questions begging for urgent answers from the commission in the next few days. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt. Earlier, we told you that election observers in River State are mounting pressure on the Independent National Electoral Commission to improve on the conduct of the presidential and National Assembly elections. Our correspondent in River State, Uche Okoro, joins me live now from Port Harcourt. Uche, these observers are demanding an overhaul of the technology deployed by INEC. Uh, just how uh, possible is this three days to the next round of elections? Absolutely possible, Abosade. It is possible if the will is there. That's according to the um, you know many stakeholders in the state from across across board, from the civil society, election observers to political parties and their candidates across board. There is this belief that if INEC um, demonstrates the will to get this right, then there would always certainly be a way. So it's for the commission to just uh, make that commitment and say uh, we are we're ready to get this right this time and then take the steps to do so. I, I believe that, um, you know, uh, indeed, that is actually um, the reality of the situation. And you asked them um, now, as we speak, it is three days to the election. I've also there, so pointed out. But, you know, bear in mind that this election um, uh, was postponed by a week, meaning that between February 25 and um, original uh, March 11, they've, they've had time. And then between March 11 and March 18, they've had another one week. So um, stakeholders believe that between February 25 and March 18, almost a month um, in between both um, rounds of elections is more than sufficient time for INEC to rectify whatever fault um, may have reared its ugly head in the technology that they deployed for this election. They believe that they've had more than enough time. Certainly, this is not a journey that they are starting three days to the election. It's a journey that they have had almost one month, they've been on for almost one month, and they believe that even as we speak today, the commission should be ready and just counting the time or counting down to um, March 18th, 
it deliver a much more credible election in, in, in the view of the public. And Uche, in that package you sent in, we saw you reporting uh, right uh, in front of some non-sensitive materials for this election. Uh, what is the situation like in River State and build up to the polls? Right now, as I speak to you, um, the focus for the commission, uh, in, in, based on the phone calls that I've made to officials of uh, INEC in River State, the focus right now is uh, to get the PVAS machines up and running to the configuration of the PVAS machine. That's the focus. Um, in the next few days, by um, Thursday, Friday, we expect that sensitive materials will begin to you know, leave for the various local governments before March 11th. By Thursday, Friday, March by 8th, 9th of uh, March, about nine local governments have already received their sensitive material. So we believe that between tomorrow and next, other local governments Uchiokura for those there in Port Harcourt, the River State Capital, speaking on the forthcoming election and the call by observer groups for INEC to improve on the conduct of the elections, especially as has to do with technology. Thanks, Uchi, for that update.